Okay, good morning class. Good morning, sir. So as I indicated in the previous video, we're going to do this in one period. I'm sure the balance you're learning soon as well. So let's just get on with it. Calculating interest rate. At this point, we have done this already and it was load shedding. Not so. So uh, we're just going to go through this quickly. It's on page 267. And this is an example. Um, 267. And this example for exercise 12.2. I think I must take for example out here. Okay, and it's on page 267. Here we are told we will calculate the interest rates. So, in the previous uh, uh, lesson, we looked at calculating your, your final amount, you calculate your interest. And we've calculated the p-value in principle. Now we're calculating the interest rate. So the question says, and this is example on page 267, we are told 20,000 has invested in, sh in shares on the stock market. After eight years, they are sold for 52,000. People say, what is this amount? Your p-value, not so. And it's sold for, so that's your a-value. In the first case, the question says, eight years is going to be your end. Calculate the compound interest rate that would provide the same return. So if they say compound interest, what must I use? Compound formula. So A is equal to P into 1 plus I to the exponent N. What's your A value? 52,000 rand equals P, which is 20,000 rand into 1 plus I. To the exponent, 8. So in pursuit of calculating I, what do I have to do first? Divide by 20,000 both sides. Okay, so that's gone. So I have 1 plus I to the exponent 8 is equal to um, 52,000 uh, over 20,000. Okay, that gives us 13 over 5. So what do I do now? Get rid of the 8. 8 the root both sides. Remember, if it's an even number, it's plus or minus, but because i has to be positive, then it's just over plus. And when you work for this interest, it will only be plus for now. Okay? So it's 1 plus i equals the 8 the root of the 8 the root of that answer, which is 1 comma 1, 2, 6, 8, and the number carries root. 1 comma 1, 2, 6, 8. And what do I do is a minus one. People we're going to use the answer button here. Otherwise, if I just say one comma uh, one two, you will see your i will only be twelve percent. Whereas in actual fact, your your rate is twelve comma six eight, which is almost seven percent. Okay, um, twelve comma six eight, which is twelve comma seven, which is almost thirteen percent. Okay. So, but anyway. Um, we minus 1, so we get 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 6, 8, and the number of course carry on. But you they ask you for your i value or for your rate? Right. right. So what must I do? Times the multiple answer by 100, which is 12, 6, 9. Uh, 12, 6, 9, 12, 6, 9. Do you guys understand? Yes. No? We did this yesterday already. For those of you who are looking at surprise. Okay. I see you guys are much quieter today. I like it. Calculate the simple interest rate that we provide the same return. So simple interest is A is equal to P into 1 plus I times A. What's your, uh, your A value? 32,000 A. 20,000 into 1 plus I. What is I? Oh, is I is I? Yes, times N, which is A. So what do we do first? Divide by 2,000 rand. 20,000 is. Okay, so it's going to be 1 plus 8I is equal to um, 30 over 5. Minus 1. So it's going to be 30 minus 5 is 8, no? 8 over 5. Divided by 8 both sides. 1 over 5. So I is 0 0.2. Is that correct? 
Can I multiply that by 100 I get? Okay. Make sure that that is here. Yeah. Behind the calculator. Yes? Um, um, Routing, yes, yes. You always have to use the number like, for example, it's 1 plus i to the exponent 8. 1 plus i to the exponent 8, I take the 8th root, yes. If you have us 1 plus i to the 12, I'm going to take the 8th root. No. No, we're going to take the 12th root, that's it. Whatever the uh, exponent is on that bracket. In People, let's look at um, exercise 12.2. At this point, again, you guys have completed uh, this exercise, and this was our book for today. So, we are told that 50,000 rand is invested for five years by buying shares in a, in a business. The business was very successful at the end of the five years, and the shares were sold for 120,000 rand. Calculate the simple interest rate that will yield the same return. So what are we calculating here? What formula do we use here? A is equal to simple. A is equal to P into 1 plus I times N. So what's your A value? 120,000 rand equals 50,000 into 1 plus I. I times 1. So what do we do first? Divide by 50,000. Okay, so that cancels. So 1 plus 5i equals, what is? 2 point? 2 point. Minus 1. 1.4. Divide by 5. Times 100. We get 8%. Alright, you guys understand? Any confusion? Right, let's look at B. Compound interest. A is equal to P into 1 plus I to the N. So it's going to be um, 120,000. 120,000 equals 50,000 into 1 plus I to the exponent 5. So divide by 50,000 and both sides. Okay, so that cancels. So 1 plus i to the 5 is going to give you 2.4. So what do I do now? So put the root both sides. Put the root. So 1 plus i equals? 1 9. 1 9. And the number can is on. Now minus 1. I get in 0 comma. One zero comma zero one nine number catch. No zero. So it's one comma one nine one in the number. So so you subtract one, you get zero comma one nine one. Did that times by hundred? Well, so it's nineteen comma one four by six. Well, you guys understand? This is upset and this is over. Right, we got the last one. And you must talk to your friends and make so much noise in the class. You tell them we had a very nice lesson today. All right. Come by the uh, unit trust for 25,000 rand after eight years. What's the unit trust you want to do? I'm free in the uh, next. Okay, but I will be there. Okay, then you can come later. I should be free in the uh, period after break. Thank you, sir. All right. Okay, then by his unit trust for 25,000 rand after 8 years, so that is N is 8, he sells them for 63,000. Okay, calculate the compound interest rate, and then you'll the same return. So A is equal to P into 1 plus I to the N. So it's going to be 63,000 rand equals 25,000 into 1 plus I to the exponent 8. So I divide both sides by 25,000. 2 comma 5, 2 is equal to 1 plus i to the 8. So what do I do now? The 8th root both sides. Okay, so then 1 plus i is so going to give you 1 comma 
One, two, two, and number can is on. Minus one times hundred. No, times hundred. Twelve comma? Two five percent. Then we'll be looking at the simple interest that would give you the same return. So A is equal to B into 1 plus I times N. So it's going to give you 63,000 there. Equals 25,000 into 1 plus I times 8. So I divide both sides by 25,000 there. 2 comma? 5, 2 is equal to 1 plus 8I. Minus 1 divided by 8. 0, 0,19. Straight. 0, 0,19 is equal to I. So your rate? 19%. 19 okay. People, that basically brings us to the end of 12.2.